Finding best-selling products to create for your print-on-demand business is only one side of making income on Etsy. The other side is taking all of that data and creating an amazing design for your print-on-demand product. But you may be stuck if you are not a graphic designer or have much time to get amazing products up in your shop. Well, in today's video, I'm sharing with you an easy way for you to create these outstanding designs without spending a lot of money or a lot of time. I'm gonna share with you step-by-step -step how to find great products and how to use that data to create your own print on demand product you can start selling on Etsy I'm sure this all with you coming up next so welcome back to the video my friends you're new here my name is Jay and on this channel I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your own products and so if you like content like this subscribe to my channel so you can learn more about how to start and sell your print on demand products so the main platform that we want to use to create our demand products today is Kittle. Kittle is a great place for you to create amazing print-on-demand designs, especially if you don't have a lot of time or have a lot of graphic design experience. They have a lot of templates you can use to really recreate your own designs to really fit the specific market you want to sell on Etsy. And they have an amazing AI powered tool that really creates elements for you right on the spot based upon a couple of prompts. So again, this really make this endless in regards to things you use for your print on demand business. And their text features are really good as well as you're able to change the text itself and really formulate the design right here in Kittle. Now for our video today, we're gonna to focus on using the pro version, but again, you're able to get started with Kittle absolutely for free and if you want to go that next step i definitely have a promo code in my description box below for you to go ahead and get the pro version of kittle at a major discount again i make sure i leave all of the details in my description box below for you to test this out and to see if it is best for your print on demand business so there are a ton of these retro groovy style nerds t-shirt or sweatshirt designs that's selling extremely well on Etsy. And one of the things I'll talk about is finding a design style that's working well and adding to this for a specific season like we're in today for the Christmas season. So first of all, we see this product as a best-selling product, 20 plus people in the cart. Basic text here, just expressing the word nurse, but can be used as a gift for a new nurse or just somebody who's been in a nurse industry for a long time. A great gift giving product to actually sell on Etsy. And we have this type of nurse shirt selling as well. As you can see here, same style, different color, same theme. Again, bestseller. Two people bought this in the last 24 hours. We know that number is just going to increase with time as we get closer to the Christmas season. And we see this specific person here did exactly what I'm going to teach you today, merging in these designs to a specific season so you can start attracting more people to your product. Best selling product, seven people bought this in the last 24 hours. And you see here, it says Santa's favorite nurse. Definitely bringing in these specific colors for the Christmas season, but still staying true to the text in regards to who this specific product is for. So, one of the things we're going to do is jump into Kittle. We're going to create our own version of a nurse t shirt or a nurse sweatshirt design, but we definitely want to bring in some Christmas elements, some Christmas colors to really merge these two trends into our own product. We can start selling on Etsy. All right, so here we are in Kittle, and we went back into the search bar to look up the specific phrase Christmas shirt. So we definitely have that here. Now, the one of the reasons why I have this searched up is because we're just not gonna pull from one template, right? We want to pull from multiple templates because we definitely want to save time in finding, you know, font styles, colors, elements, all these things right here on the platform itself. So as you can see here, we have a lot of things regarding the specific season we're selling in. And again, instead of just picking one and just designing from this one here, we want to look and see what type of font we want to choose, what elements we want to incorporate. Is there any design things that we can pull from multiple templates to truly save us time? So from here, I have gathered three templates that we're going to use. And again, we're going to just pick specific things from these templates to save us a huge amount of time and definitely just focus on creating multiple products. So I have this specific design here. I have this design here that we're gonna pull some colors from and additional elements. 
and we have this design here. Now, you may look at this and say this is not even, you know, focused on Christmas. But what I look at when I see this is just the layout of the text itself. I know retro style is doing well. I like how it has that bold outline working well for us. So this is going to save me time having everything lined up. When I look at this, I look at the colors because I definitely want to extract those things here. And I think we can do some things with these snowflakes with our design. And I definitely want to grab this Christmas tree because again, I think that would be perfect for our overall t-shirt design. So from here, let's first deal with our text. So if I want to go ahead and use this, I will simply hit use my design. And of course, the first thing I automatically want to get rid of here is this flower because we're definitely not using that. Now from here, I definitely want to change my text. And because we are creating a specific product for a nurse, I definitely want to add in that here. So I'm going to change all of this text to nurse. And now we have all of that in place. So I think we are lining up everything well. Now for this specific text, you can see here that we have a unique style with this. So for instance, if I change this color here, you'll see that the nurse is changing because we have a unique effect to this. I want to get rid of that effect because I just want to stay true to the bold colors that we have here. So for me to get rid of that little bottom element or that little bottom effect, I can go to the text settings, head over to effect. And right now this is selected. As you can see now, I'm just selecting different ones. So if I want this to be off, all I have to do is deselect this. And now we have the proper shading. I can go back to my colors here. I can change this to be any color I want. And you might see this kind of texture based background. That's because we have a texture applied to it. If I were to bring the opacity down, then we can see obviously we have those great bold colors. Now we're going to do with this texture in a little bit, but I'll just turn this down just for the sake of this design video until we get to the end. So from here, we definitely want to change our colors for our design. Yes, I can pull some things from different images online and you know find some great color palettes to change my colors here. But if I'm primarily working in Kittle and I definitely want to speed up my process of designing, I can just pull from what we already have. So that's where we're going to go back to one of our designs like this one here. And we're going to use this specific design to pull out some of these colors because I like the overall layout that is already being represented. So from here, just like the other one, I'll use this designing and I just want to extract the colors I have here. So all I do is just click on the text, go to text color. I want to go to the hex code, highlight this. I'm just hitting right click and copy. Then I want to head back over to my design and for my first nurse, I want to go ahead and change the colors here. So I highlight this, go to text color and I'll go to the hex code and I want to paste that hex code in, hit enter. And now that changed that color. So I'm going to go back and do the same thing for all of the other text. So I want to grab this pink, copy this, head back over to the second nurse, go to the text color, in the hex code, paste, hit enter. And again, this is just saving me time because I know these colors are working well with each other. I see it right here in this design. And again, if I don't want to scramble around on the internet to trying to find a, you know, a great color palette to work with, I can just use some things here that's in Kittle that I know it's already working well because they're matching up great with this design. So I'm going to copy this last color here, go to the hex code again, hit paste, hit enter. And now I have everything lined up and I want to keep this last one here because I think that really brings out the overall vibe. So here are the colors that we are going to use. Again, we just took them from a pre-made design that's already here, but sped up our design process to get the right colors in our design. Now, once everything is dialed in, one of the things I like to do is just highlight everything group them together because if I am going to move this or resize this, everything is going to be dialed in the right way. Now from here, I definitely want to go back to one of my pre-made designs because I definitely want to use this Christmas tree that I think will work perfectly for our design. Now there's a lot of things here, but I'm just going to focus on this Christmas tree. Again, I can use this design and I have it in front of us here. Now before I actually use this Christmas tree, you are able to go over to the left side of Kittle, go over to elements and search up different things. For instance, we'll search up Christmas tree. And you can definitely do your search here. Again, they have a lot of things to choose from. 
But one of the things I like to do again is just extract from things that's already working well on a template because this is going to save me time, right? I can look through this and find some amazing things. I can use an AI tool and find some great things. But if I'm in a time crunch, I need to create some products to get them up. I don't want to look at, you know, multiple Christmas trees. If I want to just get something up just to put it out there on Etsy, I can go back to this listing here and say hey this christmas tree is working out well let me just use that and plug it into my design and so one of the things i want to do is obviously get this christmas tree by itself so i can actually get this over to my design there's a lot of things here but all i have to do to get this christmas tree over to my design is hit right click i'm going to hit copy go back over to our design i want to bring this nurse down a little bit small so i can just see my christmas tree here and i want to hit paste now I have that entire Christmas tree here ready for us to redesign and to put on our product. Now, automatically, when we see this Christmas tree, there's a lot of things that seem out of place. Obviously, it is a Christmas tree falling down, but we don't want a Christmas tree falling down. We want a Christmas tree that's standing up straight. So now from here, everything is grouped together. But now I want to ungroup this because I want to make some changes here to get this tree lined up to my design. So what I would do is I would hit right click ungroup and I see the star for the Christmas tree should be here, but it's down here. I want to move this off to the side. I got my, you know, my Christmas presents here not lined up the right way. And I just see all of my, you know, Christmas ornaments here falling off the tree. And I just want to get that lined up the right way. So now that I have my tree all lined up, I want to bring in my text again. So I'll make this little, you know, present small to get my text back in place where I want it. And I think this is where we want our text to be right there centered. And I have my Christmas tree here that I definitely want to bring up a little bit, but definitely want to make it a little bit smaller. I can bring in my presence here just to fill in the gap. And notice how it's coming in the background here. All I have to do here is just right click on my presence, move to the front, and now you see that is in place. So I move those here. Same thing for this present is going in the back part of the tree. So I will right click this and I would send to the front. And now we have that lineup as well. But as you can see here, we saved a ton of time getting everything dialed in the right place. Now from here, again, I think everything is good with our overall design, but I think we can add in a little bit more to finish off our design. Now, one of the small touches I want to make to this text is just ungroup this. I definitely want to bring this bottom nurse over into the top of our design just to see how that will look. So with that being said, I'll highlight everything here and go to the front and just have that cover up a little bit, I think is a great design aesthetic to put for overall product. Then I can group everything together and have everything as one solid piece. And I think I'm gonna grab one more thing from a pre-made design just to finish our product here. So to finish up our design, we definitely want to bring in some of these snowflakes from this pre-made design, I think will be a great touch to finish out our product. And because we already have this one open, I can head over back to this area here you can see these little snowflakes I can grab. So I definitely want to copy this and hit paste. And now we have these little you know, snowflakes that we can add to our design. I want to ungroup this so I can move these where I want it to be. And notice again, these are coming up behind our text. All we have to do is right click, move to the front. And now we have these things available for us to move. So I'll move this one here. And I want to move this one over to the E. Again, I'll right click this, send this to the front have it here this one move over to the end with a nurse right click move this to the front and i have this one here and i want to move this one down to the nurse at the bottom right click and i have that one here as well so now if i want to actually make more snowflakes all i have to do here is just simply right click on one of them so i'll do this one here i will hit copy and then i will hit paste and now i have an additional snowflake i can move over to fill out my design same thing here I'll hit copy, I'll hit paste, and I'll move this up to the top just to fill in this little area here. So as you can see, everything is dialed in well. Again, if we need to make any changes to the orientation of our tree, we can do that. But for right now, for the sake of today's video, I think we get the point of putting everything in place from different elements to bring out our overall design. So from here, I want to highlight everything 
group it together and remember how we said that we definitely want to bring in some texture here this is my little texture option i can actually bring this up and what this would do is make a little texture to our design to really make this stand out even more and if i just want to have the texture around the element and the text itself i gotta make sure i hit this little button which is clip content because if not it will be over the entire canvas and it's easier to see if i change this background to black or a darker color you will see the texture really coming into play here but again when i hit clip content it's only going to go around the content itself the tree the text the elements and those things so now that we have everything in place i can change the background just for our viewing here to be transparent just to make sure everything is dialed in right and one of the final things i like to do is head over to kittle's mock-up feature as this will give me quick example into how this t-shirt will look and so again i can make this large and again i see t-shirt here and i think that looks extremely well if i want to change the color see how this will look on a let's say a dark red i can see this as well so i know my colors are going to match up perfectly now i can head over to the left hand side and see some additional mock-ups here if i want to see how this will be you know used on a person i can have these mock-ups available for us here same thing can be done i can make the image larger and the great thing about this is that if i need to make any changes to my design that i see here right on the mock-up i can go back to editor and make those changes right here in kittle which again saves me time and i can change it right on the spot if it doesn't fit what i see works well i can change the color here as well just to see how this will look and again this is perfect saves us time and this is actually a mock-up we can use if we want or just utilize this design itself and use another mock-up but again everything works well here now for me to go ahead and use this on a t-shirt design all i have to do is go back to editor go to download and I want to click remove background just to make sure everything is gone. And I want to hit the PNG and this is going to give us the perfect transparent background we can use for our t-shirt design. So from here, I plugged in our t-shirt design with our main print on demand software, which is Printify. And as you can see, our t-shirt works out well for our overall design. Again, this is something you can use just not for a print on demand t-shirt, but you can use this also for a print on demand sweatshirt. And again, everything is lined up well here. So again, if you want to try out Kittle on your own, this is a great way for you to save time, save energy, and save some money to really get things out into the marketplace for you to create amazing designs. You can get started selling on Etsy. And when you're merging over different things from multiple templates, you're able to save so much time to get out a really great product you can start selling on Etsy. Now in today's video, I didn't have time to go over how to actually start a print on demand business. However, if you want to learn that next step, click this next video here. And if you like content like this, then subscribe to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.